Hey, this is Mike Matthews from MuscleForLife.com, and in this product review, I'm going to be talking about the Jaybird Blue Buds X headphones. So you can see here, uh, here are the headphones themselves. These are meant for, for sport use, so they're lightweight, they're uh, compact, they have a pretty secure fit in your ear, and they're also sweat resistant. So here you can see the product. Uh, these, these, this, is, this is the whole thing. Um, as you can see, the buds are very small, which I like. A very compact unit, probably one of the smallest Bluetooth units on the market. Um, before I was using these, I was using an LG product. I forget the, 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 um, the actual model name, but it was a bit more bulky. You had to wear something around your neck. That was the, that was the receiver and the transmitter. And then the headphones came off of that. So this you know, just goes, goes right in. There's a couple different ways you can wear it, which we'll get into. But that's the first thing I like about these is just a uh, small, thin cord doesn't get in the way. Uh, the sound is very good. I, I wouldn't say it's outstanding, but it's very good for a Bluetooth uh, headset. Uh, the be definitely the best Bluetooth headset that I've heard or the best Bluetooth in-ear headset that I've listened to, and I've tried quite a few. Um, I prefer uh, a wired, I mean, if, if you want obviously the best sound, you're gonna go with wired, but for wireless, uh, I, was, I was pretty pleased with, with, uh, with the overall sound quality. As other people have noted, um, it was a little bit weak on the bass, which I listen to, generally listen to pretty bass heavy music when I'm working out, so that might just be due more to the music that I listen to. Um, it doesn't have no bass, but uh, the, the headphones, the wired headphones that I use, which are a pair of Shure's, have a bit more bass, which I like. So one, one of the things I also like about the, this product is how it fits in your ear thanks to these little wings, which you can see, uh, those are the ones that, that fit my ears best. You actually get uh, two other pairs. So you get a pair that's larger than this. This is the middle size pair, larger than this and smaller than this. And how these, how these work are, you, you put it in your ear and then you tuck this little wing into the uh, little flap of skin here that goes around your ear and it helps hold it in place. Um, and that matters when, you know, if you're going and running, I noticed like when I, I like to, I don't run, but I do, I do bicycling for my cardio. Um, so it just keeps it nicely in your ear. If you're, if you're lifting weights, they're not gonna fall out. Uh, one of the points though, in finding a fit that works for you is you, you should try the different wings. It also comes with a couple different uh, size uh, tips here. And you need to find the right combination of tip and wing to give you the most secure fit not so, just not only so, so, so it stays in your ear, but also that gives you the best sound. You need to, uh, you know, you want the, the tightest seal in your ear that you, can, that you can comfortably achieve, and that gives you the best sound. The battery life on these guys is fantastic. Uh, they they um, promote it at eight hours, which, um, I mean, I, I've only charged it a couple times, so uh, I've used it quite a bit, and it seems to last at least eight hours. Um, and that, that's very, very good for, for a Bluetooth headset, especially something this small. I also really like that it comes with a built-in mic that sounds great. Uh, you know, I've used it for a lot of phone calls. I use it for recording voice notes. Um, when I'm, like, when I, when I go for, I, I walk my dogs, for instance, and I'm usually listening to something related either to work or something that I'm studying, and I'll sometimes stop if I think of something, and I'll make a note using Evernote. And uh, so I've been using the mic, and it works nicely. So that's also another added little bonus. As I mentioned earlier, they're also sweat resistant. Uh, which means that you can sweat all over them and they won't break and they uh, they come with a lifetime warranty for that actually So there's they use a, a technology. I believe they call liquid Pell or something liquid Pell, something like that um, That they've treated it with and if it does break due to sweat uh, You know getting all over it. They're gonna send you a new pair in terms of how you wear them You can have them go under the ear like this, which is what I prefer uh, It's simple or you can actually flip them. You'd, you'd flip the wing here and you can have them go, I think you actually would have to do with the control on the left side if you were doing above the ear. So you'd, you'd flip it like this with the wing reversed and then you'd kind of tuck it behind your ear like this, which uh, I tried both ways and this stays in, I just find them both equal in terms of staying in the ear and uh, sound quality. So uh, I, I just kind of have stuck with uh, this method here and here. Also, one other thing is they come with uh, a little, just a little piece of plastic that actually lets you tighten the uh, cord itself, which I didn't really find I needed to do, but maybe if I were running a lot, maybe if I were like playing soccer or something like that. Um, so then, because you have a little bit of slack back here and it bounces around, you can actually tighten that around your head. So it's almost like a headband uh, to eliminate all movement which is uh, actually, actually useful because if it's bouncing around too much, you're actually gonna hear it, which is a little bit annoying. 
Um, I was playing around with it just to see what it was like, and I was putting it down here. And if it, if it, if it hits your body, it makes noise. So you can, you can use a little plastic piece it comes with to tighten it around and you know, eliminate that. Also, this, uh, this little guy here is nice and useful for just navigating between songs, between calls. Um, you, this middle button here is for pausing and playing. Also, you hold it down and turn it off. You have volume up, volume down. If you hold it down for a second, that skips, uh, skips your, your, your uh, song forward, skips your song backwards. Um, and I believe there's some call controls too that I haven't really messed with. I used it for phone calls, but I didn't use this to do anything with them, but I think it does have a couple of actual functionalities with phone calls as well. One also nice little thing is it comes with a little carry case. Uh, so if, you know, if you're gonna keep this in your gym bag or you're gonna keep it in your car so it doesn't get messed up, you, know, you can just tuck them into this and keep them nice and protected. Okay, so now a couple of the, the downsides. Uh, as I said before, the, the sound is good. It's not outstanding. If you're used to very, very high quality uh, in-ear headphones like I am or, or even over-ear, you're not going to be disappointed, but you're not gonna be impressed. Uh, also, these guys are pretty expensive, so uh, that is something to take into account. If you, that, that said though, I mean, they are the best Bluetooth headset that I've tried. So uh, you can get, you know, you can get Bluetooth headsets for, for decent ones for let's say, you know, 70 to $100, but they are inferior to, to these guys. And then related to price, I mean, if you're just weightlifting, um, me personally, I, I guess I, I don't really, I don't feel I need a Bluetooth headset for weightlifting. Like I said, I use, I use a wired uh, pair of Shures that maybe I'll do a product review on those because they're great. Um, but if you are listening to music when you're doing something where you're moving your body more, uh, you know, whether it just be, you could be playing sports or going for, going for a run or, or, you know, biking or whatever, uh, then I definitely prefer uh, a, a Bluetooth set because obviously, you know, having a wired uh, set can, it just gets annoying. It can bounce around on your body, which messes with the sound quality, get caught in things and whatever. So all in all, uh, I really like the, the Jaybird Boo Buds X headphones. Uh, I want to thank Jaybird for, for sending them to me so I could review them. Uh, I want to thank them also for giving an additional set, which I'm going to be giving away. You'll find a link for that down in the uh, description below. Uh, no purchase is necessary. Uh, it's just, I'm doing it really just to, for fun. Uh, I, you know, companies are willing to send me stuff, so I'm going to give it away to, to I'm going to give this stuff away to, to fans and readers. And it'll be a brand new set. It's not going to be the set that I used. Um, so thanks again for checking out the product review. Hope you liked it, and I'll have more to come.